Hey everyone, remember that time Jensen was cooking something good in that kitchen, that 30 series cards, and then they announced the 40 series, and we were all excited for the 40, 60, for the low budget gamers, including myself, because I don't like spending money, I like buying any second hand. Well, you know, we tried playing Alan Wake in that card, and it's like, hey, you know, are we going to get 100 FPS as well? Are we going to be able to enable ray tracing and, you know, get the latest and greatest? You know, Dying Light 2, NVIDIA Reflex, can we just turn everything up and get 200 FPS? What about the newest games? Wait a minute, that's 40 FPS, what's going on? Jensen, you're promising us 150 right here, that's a 50% performance boost. What's happening? What's happening? Beyond creating? Beyond? Beyond? Beyond what? Beyond our wallets, that's what's going on. So here we're going to discuss a couple games, you know, how they perform having, you know, just rasterization with DLSS enabled. First game here we're going to look at is Horizon Zero Dawn because it is an older game. Look at this game perform right now. Nothing else, just, you know, 60 FPS on average when we're in combat. Roaming about 60, 60 FPS, this is just rasterization. However, if we are willing to enable DLSS, this is what this card's all about, right? It's a RTX card. Well, if we end up enabling it to quality, this game's running at 80 now. From 60 to 80, six, those 20 extra frames, that's about a 30% performance boost by en enabling DLSS to quality. We're not looking at balance, performance, or ultra performance. We're just going to keep it, you know, good quality. Now, it's follow-up. Forbidden West here, I'm getting 40 right now. And that's just, you know, looking at the distance. If I have a mountain or, you know, look at the sky for more, we notice the numbers go up to pretty close to 50, you know, but those that's not always going to happen. We're going to be looking at something every single time. So if we also enable DLSS here, same thing, just to quality, we're going to notice a performance gain. And the performance gain here, we're going to just go to quality because we don't want to lose that quality of the game. It's a really nice looking game. We're looking at over 40, 50, my bad, 50 FPS. From 40 to 50, that's 10 frames. That's a 25 performance boost by enabling this feature from NVIDIA. Really appreciate it. Even with the older game, or sorry, so older Sony exclusives, The Last of Us Part 1 here, same thing. If we just look at the rasterization of this card, we're looking at over 30 FPS. Let's just look at it as 30. That's pretty similar to the PS5 performance. Now, if we end up enabling DLSS, which a lot of us will because we have a 4060, we don't have a 4080 or a 4090. So if we end up enabling the setting, notice my resolution is at 1600. That's the monitor I'm currently using, not 1440p. So if I enable DLSS and leave it at quality, because I don't want to look at balance at the moment yet, then I'm going to notice my FPS is going to go above 50. Same thing. We're going from over 30 to 50. That's 20 extra frames at least right there. Note, we are in an interior location right now, so that means there's st less stuff happening, especially in this part of the game. At least it's not the alleyway that, you know, became a little famous. Now, last game we're going to talk about here is Alan Wake 2. The reason I'm talking about this game is because right now I do have DLSS enabled, and I need to enable it for this game in order to even play it. Love playing this game, especially on the 3080, because it has a good amount of VRAM, great performance, and even when things are happening, notice the drop in frame rate. We were at 50, now we're, you know, 45 or so, but it does drop a little bit depending on what's happening on screen. Like I said, really enjoyed this game, really good. Going back to that performance, we're in the interior, so it looks like it's performing really well, but remember, the forest section is very difficult to run, so we were over 30 with balance mode enabled. Now, if we go into the settings here and we end up changing it from balanced into performance, notice the resolution is going to change from 928 to now to 800. So I'm technically at quarter resolution here. I'm on the outside now. We are in the 40s, basically what we were getting on the interior. So there's, let's say, about 10 frames, you know, increase. Pretty good. We're looking at a little over 20, 25% in performance boost. However, we can get into that 60. And for some of us who have really good monitors, VRR enabled and everything, you might be okay, but you're gonna have to turn it down to probably performance. Sorry, not performance, ultra performance. We are already at performance here. So, you know, really like the RTX series cards, um, but we wanna see good rasterization. 
with you know good optimization as well in video games and so that's something we're not really getting right now but um hey if you're thinking about getting a 4060 in 2025 then um and you found this video like you know helpful just leave me a like or if not just leave me a bad comment and i'll still appreciate it either way see you all around